Hello and welcome to Slightly Impressive, new and improved pea shacks. It's basically a bunkhouse now, not even a shack, it's a pea bunkhouse. My name is Griffin, we are playing The Sims 4 Castaway Challenge. I'm excited to get back to this. I have missed my good friends Casey C.A. And and the others, what we got Emma, Allison, Jamari, Isak, Ukinopinapino, I don't know how to say his name, and Haley. All right, Haley Hekekia. I really like that last name. All right, you know, they're not doing too bad for themselves, but hello, California Ray, Daskat, Elfantir, Bunsen, Cobalta, and Dream Watcher. How is everybody? How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. Hi, Griff! Hi, chat! Hi, Daskat! <laughs> Jeez, what is this- what is this giant paragraph here? You're holding a cocker spaniel because it's aggressive and you need to do shots. Creepy old dude has his hand over your hand holding your hand. Okay, that's weird. His other hand is rubbing his dog's shoulder. Oh, no. Oh, no. This seems, this seems like probably a little bit on purpose. Seems like, uh, seems like Mr. Mr. Creepy Old Dude knew exactly what he was doing. Anyway, anyway, they're doing pretty well for themselves here, our little castaway group. Look, we've got a table and chairs. We've got torches that aren't on for some reason. Let's, let's auto lights the candles. Are they... There, there. Now the torches are on. Okay, good. We've got a nice little garden, which is actually a fantastic money maker. What is this? Coconut. Oh, yeah, we got a coconut tree. I forgot about that. That's beautiful. That looks better than my real garden. IRL in real life. Real meat space garden. My garden space garden. Okay. I don't know why we're all crowding around in the bathroom there. But, I mean, look at... Look at all of the beds. We've got six sleeping spots, which is almost enough for how many humans we have. One person has to sleep on the towel outside, I guess. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Hey, thank you, Dream Watcher. 25 months. That is just bonkers. I don't even know what to do for that. I don't know what to do for a 25 monther. I'll just say thank you. Thank you, Dream Watcher. Hello, Vithika. All right. So. We do have some money here. We've got like $1,100. We could get another bed if one will fit. That's the if. Maybe, did we make this an actual room? Did we do this right? Okay, we did. So I could actually just, we could do this and then maybe even get like, I mean, how many, we need enough for eight Sims, but they don't all need to be double beds like that let's just well what do we want what do we want do we want another double double bed i feel like we're gonna need another double bed because we're gonna have a bunch of couples all at once here do i not have enough insufficient funds oh man okay it's uh i wonder if they can that seems hmm Mm. All right, we have insufficient funds. We will soon have enough funds to have another bed, but we do not at this time. Unless we wanted to buy, maybe we can buy one of these little beds to get us by. Because that will give us enough spaces. We can. Okay, great. At least we have, that's all we had room for anyway. At least we have enough sleeping spaces. Wait, can we put this against the wall? No, because the door is there. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Do we have lights in there? I don't think we have lights in the in the modified P shack, but that's okay. We don't need lights. Lights are for rich people, right? Lights are for people. Oh, they can't even have lights. They would have to have torches. I forgot they're off the grid. We're roughing it here. Okay, we're down to $146 again. Man, the money. The money just, it, it goes easy come, easy go. If you make it one tile wider, you can put beds on each side. That's true. I mean, well, we this is only a temporary pea shack. A temporary bunkhouse. 
slash P shack bunk shack P house. I don't know. It's basically a P a P cabin at this point. But eventually we're going to have like an actual nice house. It might even have a little bit. It might have like a pier that goes out on the water like a deck. I don't know. We'll see. And we can move it around because it's The Sims 4. You can just move houses around like it's nothing. It's fine. But let's see. We are about to have a baby. Where is she? Oh, there. Right. Haley Hikekia. She is pretty far along. I thought this was like an opening at first from this angle. I was like, why would... <laughs> I mean, I guess you, you might want a maternity shirt that just shows a bunch of cleavage. Just for, you know, if you just feel like you just feel like putting it all out there, even though you've got a you got a, a human inside of you. Who knows? But it's not. It's not that. What is going on here? What is that? What is this? Inspired potion. Drink this to temporarily make your sim inspired. I don't know where we got that potion. I can't remember anything about that what is casey doing casey really wants to go swimming i guess all right knock yourself out man go swimming whatever oh our our stank fisherman couple over here over here rubbing their their fish stank all over each other i guess it's fine if you both smell like fish all right we really need to get everybody to bed it is 11 o'clock at night here did i get packs oh hello lucas evergreen what well, the packs that i picked up were Parenthood, um, what else? I can never, Spa Day, and Cats and Dogs. That's what I got. Cats and Dogs, Parenthood, and Spa Day. So, because they're on sale right now. And uh, the expansion packs are actually 50% off. I don't know if it's all of them, but Cats and Dogs is 50% off. Which is pretty good. You're giving fluids... To this other dog and gave an anti-nausea med. Start injecting. You go to try to catch the IV so it doesn't stab the dog and it jabs into your thumb. Ow! With Bernie meds. Ow! Ow! You're the only tech in, so you have to see every single patient. Lobby was full open to close. What? Don't they have anybody supervising you? Are you authorized to run? You know what? That reminds me, though. You can run a vet business. With cats and dogs. That's what sold it for me. I was like, do I really do I really want to pay for this? But the idea that you can run a vet's office sounds pretty good. You can woohoo in the sauna. Well, even better. Fantastic. And I can make Jack. Exactly. All right. All right. Anyway. Sounds like you had a very exciting day at the vet's office. I'm glad I was not there. Okay. We need to get everybody to bed. It's it's bedtime here. I don't know what everybody's doing. Does everybody here? Who are here? Casey, just go to sleep here. Go to sleep by yourself. Allison, sleep by yourself. Emma, you need some food. I don't understand how you guys are doing such a terrible job of taking care of yourself. There's free food. There's just a cooler full of free food at all times. And you can't seem to keep yourself fed. Have some cereal. I've only read two out of four happenings. I know, but there's just so many happenings. I'll just I'll just take your word for it that it was just a really terrible day. Your two thirds tequila drink is highly warranted. Go for it. Zamzul! What? What are you doing? Why are you leaving? You don't need to take a shower right now. It's more important to eat food. Food is more important than shower, Emma. What is Mr. Merman doing? Just swimming around. Fine, just go swim around. Don't ever marry a merman, kids, because this is what'll happen. He'll leave you alone all the time just to swim around. Just comes, spends all of his time out here just swimming around aimlessly, talking to dolphins, controlling the weather, and he'll leave you to to raise your baby by yourself. It's what will happen, so don't do it, kids. Hello, John, headquarters. 
Community. Oh, right. Okay, I was like, what is Griffbot doing? Griffbot is spamming. I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't decided yet. Like, when people move out, I don't know how they're going to have money. We might have to, like, save up a bunch of money for them to have some money to build themselves a shack. Or at least have some tents. I mean, I do want to go over there and, like, play them a little bit. Not just play the main lot. Like, I want to... I don't know. I want to at least build them a little bit of a house or something. At least a shack. At least this kind of thing. But I don't know. We gotta get him out of here pretty soon so we can free up some more slots. Unless I want to use cheats to have more slots, but I don't think I do. It seems like it would kind of ruin the spirit of the challenge. Alright, Isak. Isak, you can go sleep in one of these forever alone beds. That's fine. Okay, good. Look who decided to join his pregnant wife in bed. Good job. Good job, Uki. Way to way to come back in from the ocean. All right, Jamari and Emma, you guys You guys can't just stay up all night making out by the picnic table. You've got to you got to take care of yourselves. You you said you were going to go take a quick and tepid shower earlier. I don't understand what happened. You just didn't make it over there, I guess. Take your quick quick and tepid showers and go to bed. <laughs> this kind of makes for some awkward woo-hooing if anybody wants to woo-hoo in here just while everybody else is sleeping. Does it wake them up? I kind of want to try it just to see. Just to see what happens. You're so excited to have spa day? I'm kind of excited too. Yeah, build and chill. You know, it looks... It has so many, like, modern-looking buy-mode stuff that I think I think it was worth it, especially with the discount. With the discount, they're only, like, $17 or something like that. 14 I think they were $14.99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's worth it. 15 bucks is worth it for a game pack. And $20 is worth it for an expansion. I feel pretty good about that. So at this point, the only expansion I don't have is City Living, but I don't think I really want that one. Unless it was like $10 or something, I don't think I would get it. I don't really care anything about apartments. If you could build your own apartments, then yeah, but apparently you can't. What's the deal? Are we like waving everybody out of here? <laughs> We're like, you need to leave. We're going to woohoo. We can't have any awake people in here while we're woohooing. Wow. Jamari and Emma are woohooing for the first time. Oh. The first time? In the bunkhouse? Full of people? Oh. The unworthy will just be sacrificed to the volcano god. But I don't want to get rid of people, though. Okay. We need people to repopulate the island. Or to just to populate the island. To colonize. We must colonize. How many more episodes of Build and Chill do I think there will be? I don't know. I mean, when we finish the mansion, I think I'll probably play around with Island Boy some more. And uh, maybe we could even move Island Boy and his wife. What was her name? Nalani or something? We could move them into the mansion. Since that's the same universe. And they could... We could do, like, some spa day stuff. We could... They could run a vet clinic for a while, because why not? I don't know. I want to play around with the new stuff that I got. You're surprised volcanic sacrifice isn't a mechanic? I mean, it should be. I don't see why it isn't. So, are these toilets just going to stink forever? Is that what's going on here? Plumbing doesn't work off the grid. You can't clean things without indoor plumbing. Before indoor plumbing was invented, everything was just dirty all the time. Everybody knows that. I should have remembered from history class. Uki, there's a bed for you. I don't, you don't have to just sit out here by yourself. Go to sleep, Uki. Hello, Chloe for president. For president? I don't know. President of what? The chess club? 
president of what is your platform? What sort of changes do you want to bring to the chess club? Before I gotta know if I wanna vote for you. I don't know. Just based on your name. I mean it's a good name. Uh gone into labor, fantastic. I guess we're just that's just gonna happen here. I mean, it's not like we can go to a hospital. There's no hospitals on this deserted island. President of Castaway Island. First change, cleanable toilets. All right, you've got my vote. Chloe for president. You're going to dethrone the queen of the islands, who is a reverse mermaid. This is, the, this is the official lore of Sulani. Fish head, fish torso, no arms, extremely attractive human legs. But I didn't vote for her. All right. Let's have a baby. Be gross. Oh, yeah. Parenthood added <laughs> farting and belching on command. How exciting. Well, we need to have the baby here. Requires empty bassinet in order to give birth. Mm, I bet you'll do that on your own anyway. I'm not buying a bassinet. I'm going to wait till I get one for free. Then what are you going to do? The game? You need to plop that little thing out just on the sand. I'm not buying a bassinet for you. Wait, you think you're going to build a bassinet out of seashells and driftwood? Is that what you think? Don't be so sad. Stop being sad. You need a stiff upper lip. Come on. Should we cook a feast? Is anybody... I mean, there's a lot of fairly hungry people. <laughs> Since you're up, why don't you go ahead and cook us a feast? Let's have a delicious fish dinner. Hello, Crow T. Good afternoon. Uh oh. What's well, broken? The sink's broken. Allison, are you asleep? Allison is asleep. Okay. When you wake up, you've got some repairs to do. I kind of like how this barbecue, like, you just put the stuff in there and then you can go do other stuff, like beach comb. Too uncomfortable to beach comb. Probably because she hates children and she's very pregnant. And she, she's in labor. Being in labor is the worst when you hate children, I guess. She sure is protruding there. Okay. We take them away from their families and tell them you love me now. And they're like, I guess I do. <laughs> yes. Exactly. I don't know what I was talking about, but yes, that is exactly what happens. Hey, we're making a feast, Emma. Emma, stop eating cereal. We're making a feast. You're not going to be hungry for the fish feast. Come on, man. Come on. Come over here and go fishing. Who are you? Why are you here? Melee. What are you doing here, Melee? Go fish with Melee, I guess. Fish together. She's not even on the list. Can we talk to her? Here, just... Why is she feeling so flirty? Elecanto whirly. Just because she's crazy is why. All right, go fishing. Go do some flirty fishing. Just get out of everybody's way. Stop talking to the table. You crazy person. Why are the torches not on? We need these on all the time. Just, we're not even going to do auto lights. Just turn them on. We'll just keep them burning 24-7. To help with the ambiance. Okay, really? Yeah. Oh, what? Somebody's pooping in here. Oh, no. Ah, how could I have known? Could have asked. All right. Is our food ready? All right. We've already caught some fish. Notification wall full. Oh, no. What will we do? Why don't we just, why don't we just trash them all? Haley's having a baby right now? Oh, sure enough. Where are you? Are you? Oh. Oh, just right there, huh? Oh, okay. Okay, then, Haley. That's fine, I guess. Um. Okay. Oh, right. Her name is Hekekia because that was Uki's last name. Okay. All right. What's this baby's name? Logan. Nice. Little baby boy, Logan. Logan Hekekia. That's a nice name. Do I cycle to work now? No. Whoa. Whoa, why is... 
<laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Something, something isn't quite right. Hold on. How did this person and this person? I can't. Come on, game. This person produce this person. Uh. I don't know. I mean, maybe there's just some wacky mermaid genetics going on. But I kind of feel like something went horribly wrong. Since there's a baby on the way, Sim Social Services has provided a complimentary bassinet for the little one. Oh, that's so nice for them. It's so nice for social services to airdrop a bassinet uh, to this remote d desert island. Not desert island, but deserted island. Must have been aliens. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like maybe something happened. With Haley and one of the locals who isn't Ukinupinopoli. Alright, well, let's just, uh... Let's... I don't know. It's sad. Why is it sad? Bounce it. Bounce that baby. Why are you so sad, baby? <laughs> Isak is like, Jeez, what is with all of the noise here? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> just... Somebody just gave birth, like, two feet away from his face while he was sleeping. Alright, well, enjoy that. What are you doing? What are you- ah, What? There's a baby! Whoa! I'm a father! Wow, how come nobody told me? I was busy swimming around. Why don't you go talk to the baby? Uh, it's yours, I promise. It's definitely your baby. Don't worry about it. Oh, look at that. Casey's helping out. Oh, our food is out here. Hey, why don't we why don't we grab the food? Let's have a feast. Let's celebrate the birth with a fish feast. Reached parenting level one. Oh yeah, they have parenting skills. Because they just got parenthood. Casey can now encourage kids' behavior and influence kids to clean. He can reprimand bad behavior by asking the child not to do that action. Or simply yelling at the child to stop. Fantastic. Okay, okay, what is your problem? Are you afraid of children or something? What's going on with you? I don't I don't get it. I don't know why he's freaking out so much. Just go get some food. Everybody, everybody come get some food. It's food time. Look at that. The whole the whole gang is helping out with the child. That's nice. Everybody's getting parenting skills, except Emma, who has been fishing this entire time by herself. Emma, did you not sleep? Why are you energized? What? A nap? Okay, Emma. Emma, you need to go to sleep. Well, go have... Go have some of the feast. Allison, you didn't eat the feast. Look, don't worry about the kid. The kid's fine. Eat your fish dinner. Uki can deal with the child. Uki didn't finish eating either. Nobody has finished eating, ever. Is it too hot to cycle now? Yeah, I mean, most days. But I also just, I don't know, I started working out in the morning, so... I would have to get up even earlier to work out and then cycle to work. I mean, I don't know. Let's see, let's change, let's just do everything. Bottle feed, change diaper, shoe shit, make a silly face at it, do all that stuff. How's your parenting skill? Alright, look at that. It's coming along nicely. Can we, like, encourage certain behaviors in a baby? No. It would seem that we cannot. Okay. I'm kind of excited to see what all we can do with the kids when they become children. Or... Maybe toddlers. I don't know. Hello, Lizzie. Really? Really? Is it really, Lizzie? Really? All right. Great. Everyone. Uh, Isaac just seems kind of depressed. Isaac seems like he's just going through the motions. I mean, he's actually feeling playful right now. You need to take a shower. What is happening over here? Why are you spraying everything? Oh, because there's bugs. Casey just takes care of stuff, man. Anything that needs taken care of, he's just like, I got this. 
Bugs in the garden? I'll take care of that. Here, why don't you sell everything? Sell all the taro roots. Sell all the whatever. Oh, look, our pineapple tree sprung up. I didn't see that. Or, I mean, our coconut tree, right. Pineapple. <laughs> These are pineapples. These are coconuts. Let's harvest the coconuts. And then we'll plant some more. We'll plant a little row of coconut trees. How about that? That'll be nice. We'll have a coconut orchard. Is Jack at grooming? No. Jeez, I forgot. Uh, I just have not had any time. But finally got my bathroom floor put back down. There's no tile on it, but I got the toilet put back. So I like I have a bathroom. There's no sink, but I have a toilet and a shower again. That's very nice. My entire week of vacation was spent doing that. But we got it all. We got it usable at least. It's very exciting. I haven't had time to do anything else. I've basically been sleeping, eating, working on the bathroom, and streaming. <laughs> Those are the only four activities that I have done at any given time all week long. Okay. Great. We're doing great. Casey, I think you need to do some beach combing. Um, Allison could do some beach combing. Emma and Jamari. Jamari, you're dirty. Why are you so dirty, Jamari? Emma and Jamari need to go fishing. What's Emma doing? Oh, Emma needs to sleep, actually. <laughs> Why have you not slept yet? Go to sleep. Sleep in the good bed. I mean, you guys woohooed in here, and then what? You just took a nap? You didn't even sleep? To whom do you sell those goods? To the locals. To the people who live here. There's, there, it's not... Well, I guess it's not deserted either. This island is deserted. Except for all the random people who keep showing up. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, there's people who live in Sulani. They just, I don't know, they just live in the wild, I guess. Because they don't have houses or anything. Becky. Okay, great. Did we get... We got like 400 something dollars from our garden today. That's pretty good. Did you harvest the coconuts? Let's plant some coconuts. Is Zach? He's bright-eyed and bushy-tailed right now. Wait, where are your coconuts? What? You harvested the coconuts. Where did they go? Did somebody else harvest them? Here. Sell some of these fish and kitchen upgrade parts. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Is this like talking to his garden? I think that's what he's doing right now. Does anyone have coconuts? Nobody's got coconuts. I don't understand what happened to the coconuts. Did somebody eat them? Did you use them to prepare the fish? I mean, where did the coconuts go? Take cutting. Requires gardening skill level 5. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just leave that there. I guess we just won't have any other coconut trees. Maybe I accidentally clicked... S oh, maybe when you click sell all, it harvests everything. I thought it would only harvest just those plants. Just that particular kind of plant, but I guess... I guess because I clicked sell all, he just harvested everything and sold it all, including the coconuts. So more like commune island? I mean, pretty much. This is basically a commune at this point. I don't know where the locals live. They just like live in caves. In the public restrooms that are strewn about. I mean, you know, there's one right here. <laughs> Maybe somebody lives in there. I don't know. Somebody put a picnic table over here. There's trash service somehow. Really seems like they ought to be able to just get home pretty easily. Maybe they just like it. They just like living here on the island. I mean, it's a nice island. I don't know why you wouldn't. What is Casey doing? 
Casey decided to go for a swim. Right here where Jamari's trying to fish. That's kind of rude. That's kind of rude, Casey. Why don't you go do some beach combing? Or some exercising. Casey's supposed to be active. But he's just super flabby. I don't know. Is he getting slight? Is he getting a little less flabby? Maybe slightly. He's getting some muscle. Maybe he's doing all right. What's his aspiration? Get a suntan, earn a earn gold on a kava party, and eat a coconut. Okay, well, that shouldn't be too difficult for you to do. What does? What are you guys doing out here? This isn't useful. Namsapoda. I guess she's just she's not having enough fun lately. Why don't you? Swim around. So, uh, shouldn't we be making some money or something? No, it's fine. We'll be fine. Didn't I tell you to beachcomb? I did. You got a tulip shell. Okay, good job. We need to amass enough money for... The Hekekia family to move out. How many people do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're at capacity right now. Do some beach combing. You can do some beach combing. She's in a great mood for giving birth in the middle of the night last night. She's just running around. She's like, oh, what you eating there, Uki? How's everything doing? I'm feeling super playful. I'm going to comb the beach for seashells. You caught anything, Jamari? Oh, yeah. Caught a couple of things. Seven dollars. You can do better than that. Come on, Jamari. Well, that upgrade part was ninety dollars. All right. Keep beach combing. Keep... Oh, are we... Are we done exercising? Slimed. The water feels as if it's sticking to Casey. Gross. Why? Let us never speak of what was touched. Touch something gross from beachcombing? What? Get back to it. I don't care if you touch something gross. That is none of my concern. Beachcomb. Beachcomb. Everybody comb the beach. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, you could have you could have moved over a little bit. You didn't really need you didn't need to crowd him quite so much. I that feels a little bit on purpose. Congratulations on the new addition to the family. Thank you, Teulia. I appreciate hey, that. Thank you for subscribing. Woo! Quindici months in this terrific community. Every month has been a blessing. Quindici months. Thank you, Malcolm Wolf, for this for the fifteen months and for the kind words. I do appreciate it. Alright. A seagull snatched it. Why is everybody Freaking seagulls? Everybody's just got so many problems with the beach combing. The baby the baby needs a changing. What's the matter with you? Stop acting like you can't reach the baby. It's right there. What is your problem? Oh, it's because Uki's on it. Uki's all over this. Hello, Zach the Nebula. The baby does not look healthy. Ah, uh, he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. He was just a little bit stinky. Now he's fine. Little Logan is doing great. Look how happy he is. He's half happy. He's a halfway happy baby. That's the best you can hope for. Make a silly face at it. I don't know. We need to move him to a more convenient location than just like right here in the middle. All right. Allison, you need to be beachcombing. Everybody beachcomb. We've got to make some money. I wonder... What could Uki be doing to earn some money? Not allowed to have a job or anything. What does a mermaid even do for money? Who knows? Maybe he can... Can he, like, dive for something? Is there a buoy somewhere? 
I feel like there was one pretty nearby. Here we go. What can he do? Free dive. Yeah, we don't want to buy any dive gear. Why don't you free dive? Maybe you can go get some stuff. Why don't you do that? Why don't you try to provide for your family, Uki? How do you start a castaway challenge? You start with six randomized young adults who uh, are not related to each other. You bulldoze all of the lots on Sulani. Oh, we've got a bit of a makeout sesh going on back here behind the pea shack. Whoa. Whoa. You two are supposed to be beachcombing. I'm pretty sure that's not beachcombing unless they started calling it something different. Unless that's what the kids are calling the tongue wrestling these days. They're all like, oh, I really combed her beach, if you know what I mean. And then the other people are like, no, I don't know what you mean. That doesn't make sense. Comb the beach. Uh, so you bulldoze all of the lots in Sulani. You make them all off the grid. You start with six random sims. Plunk them on our little island here. And are there any other rules? If you marry somebody into the game... Oh, uh, also, they only start with the barbecue pit and tents. They start with three tents, so they all have a place to sleep, and this barbecue pit. And zero dollars. Zero simoleons. Did I find the coconuts I harvested? I'm pretty sure he sold them. I think when I click sell all, he sold all of them. Like, all of the produce. Isaac, what are you doing, man? All right, fine. Research your garden. That's fine. Isaac is just, is just. Uh, I mean, he may have to stay on this lot just to tend the garden. He's, he's doing a great job with the gardening. Casey seems like he would be pretty good at gardening as well, but he's more of the cook, I guess. What kind of cooking skill has he got? Oh wow, he's on his way to level three cooking already. Is beachcombing fun? <laughs> Hopefully, they enjoy beachcombing. I'm not sure they do. Jamari, what are you doing? Jamari, you got problems. You stopped fishing because you needed to pee, and then you didn't pee. What's Uki doing? Is Uki diving? Oh. Uh. Did you get anything? You got an ordinary conch shell. Blow conch. What happens if you blow the conch shell? I can't remember. I mean, we should. We definitely need to try it. Why don't you come back here? Quit swimming around. That may have sent more than once. Wait, what sent more than once? I don't I don't think anything sent more than once. Alright, you feeding that baby? Are you breastfeeding? Is that why I can't see anything that's going on? I guess so. I wanna blow that conch shell. Blow it. Blow it. <laughs> Nothing happened. It didn't do anything at all. It's kind of cool, though, that you can just... I kind of want to keep it. What's it... What's it worth? $200? Ooh, is it $200 worth of cool? I don't know. Why don't you do some beach combing? I guess he didn't get anything for diving. Alright, Jamari. Jamari, you need to take a shower. Let's see. Are they going to need to eat again? I guess so. I mean, some of them. Yeah, alright. Casey, quit swimming. Casey is addicted to the ocean. Casey, let's cook us up some... I mean, tofurkey. I... Tofurkey is not something you would cook on a on an island. We're going to have some more pokabodo. No, porkabodo. Adobo. Porkadobo. That's what we want. Isaac is just going to spend all of his time just looking at the... F just talking to the plants. Why are these off again? Turn on all candles. Yeah, 
It won't stay on. I don't understand. I think they're glitched or something. I don't know. Oh, what's going on here? Some people aren't getting along. What's the matter, Uki and Emma? How come we don't have any music over here? There's no music on this island. What does nobody know how to how to play a ukulele? What's going on here? I want to go swim around. Why do I always have to go fishing? Oh, that's that's Uki. What what is Emma's problem? She's tense, feeling insecure. Ah, oh, jeez. Where is Jamari? Here, Jamari's right here, Emma. Feeling insecure. Just, just from the jealous trait. Just cause. Okay, why don't you two go fish together so that nobody feels jealous. You're within sight. She's like, oh, he could be cheating on me with somebody in the pea shack. How will I know if I can't see him? He's the worst. All right, Casey, why are you eating cereal? I thought we made some pork adobo. What happened? Fine, everyone will just have to eat cereal then. Looks like everybody's having cereal for dinner. Let's move this baby. Let's move the baby right here. That's a little bit better. Oh, uh, actually, maybe over here. That makes it kind of hard to get in the door. Maybe there. That might be a decent spot. All right, we're pretty limited on space here. Oh, I should save the game. Oh, we're gonna need a toddler bed in here too. Yikes, this bunkhouse is getting more and more crowded. Man, this baby, this baby poops himself a lot. And changed his diaper. Might as well feed it as well. What's this? Small conch shell. Oh, I guess you can't blow in a small conch shell. How's that parenting skill coming? Oh yeah, she's already level two. She's almost level three. You've got this, Haley. You're gonna be an excellent parent. Little Logan is going to grow up so well. He's going to have a fantastic life. Very exciting. You know, we haven't really seen any locals lately. It's like they've stopped coming around. They heard that Uki never came back and just... <laughs> word got around. They're like, I think they kidnapped him and ate him. Who's this? Alika. Alright, Alika's going out for a stroll on the beach to a volcano by himself. Fetu, I heard this great party going down at the nightclub. Fetu, we can't go to a nightclub. We're stranded on an island. And so are you. What do you mean a nightclub? There's no nightclubs here. There's just empty lots. Fetu's crazy. All right, let's see if we can... Uh... Do something for their aspirations. Fish at three different locations. Well, now, why do they have zero out of three? They've obviously fished at more than one, or at one location. It should be one out of three. What's that about? Allison wants to achieve level three comedy skill. All right. Well, she's sleeping right now, but we can work on her comedy skills. Jamari's the fishing one. Isak wants to spend a thousand dollars on kids stuff. Uh, man, a thousand dollars on kids. I mean, maybe, maybe Isak. Man, this poor guy. He wants to have a successful lineage, and he's not even. By being vicarious, your children's skill gains can contribute to your own. Whoa. Wait a minute. He has a special trait? Where? No, uh. I don't know. I don't know how that works. 
All right, Uki. Uki wants to do the suntan and to get a gold on a kava party. I think we need to have a kava party. Haley. Oh, yeah. Haley's a musical genius. But we don't have any musical instruments. <laughs> Poor Haley. She just wanted to be a musician, and instead, she ended up a mother who hates children. Great. Why is everybody awake? You guys should all be sleeping. It's nighttime. Go sleep in your bed. Allison's already sleeping. Jamari, you need to take a shower and go to sleep. Isaac will need to... Wait, we've got enough beds for everybody. We're fine. Uki can sleep here with his wife. Let's go to the bathroom. Haley's already sleeping. All right, everybody's taken care of. I don't know why the fire effect won't stay there. It's like it's providing light, but there's no fire. Jamari caught a perch. What? Is Jamari still fishing? Stop fishing, Jamari. All right, let's sell everybody's stuff. Sell off all the loot, see what we got. Sea urchin shell. Okay. Can we... Scallop shell. Can we just, like, put these on the wall or anything? No. We can just put them on the ground. Emotional aura. Environment three. Oh. Well, that's nice that we can just decorate the place with seashells if we want to. Chichlid. Cichlid. Probably cichlid. Cichlids span a wide range of body sizes. Okay, it's only $19, though. That's lame. Get some more expensive fish. Oh, that one's $50. Okay. And our kitchen upgrade parts are even better. Allison got nothing. Jamari got some fish. How much do they need? You think $2,000? We'll get them a nice little shack, probably. I don't know. They'll need a bed for the kid. What, what happened? Sell them off. Oh, okay, yeah, those fingers of Sulani were nice. We're gonna let him keep his conch shell. Actually, we're taking it. <laughs> we're taking the conch shell, and we're gonna keep it. We'll give it to Morcubus. You can blow the conch to summon Morcubus. Well, Morcubus is always here. You can blow the conch to entertain Morcubus. To amuse him. Appease him. Since we took the campfire away, we can no longer make marshmallow sacrifices to the great Morcubus. Oh, 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 oh wow. Oh. It's almost your birthday. No, it's not, Haley. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about kids. When are their birthdays? I hate children. How am I supposed to know when my baby's birthday is? I'm going to wait. Well, I kind of want to wait for Logan to become a toddler, but... If we have enough money for them to have a house, they just need a tiny little shack... With, like, a toilet and a shower and a sink. Well, they're going to need a cooler and, like, a a grill of some kind. They're going to need some kind of way to prepare food. I mean, they won't really need those things. The game, they'll just take care of themselves automatically. But, you know, I want to set them up nice. I don't want to just send them out there and just have them be homeless. That crying is the most annoying sound ever? Yeah. But he's happy. Little Logan. Not real sure, uh... Not real sure about your genes there, Logan. Not real... Does it say? 
I mean, he's definitely Haley's child. Let's look at the family tree. Let's just make sure. I mean, we would have noticed if she tried for a baby with somebody else. <laughs> he is there. He is. He is their biological son. I don't know, man. Those mermaid jeans. There's something else. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. I, I wonder if Logan is a merman. I don't know how that works. What are you doing awake? All right, why don't you go get a quick shower and just think of the crying if I did the 100 baby challenge. I think I will do the 100 baby challenge at some point. That might be the next challenge I do. But this one's going to take a while. I mean, this one, we're playing it for the long haul on this one because we're going to build up lots of lots. We're going to build up a lot of community lots and businesses and stuff. We're going to have lots of different families all over the place. That's an old game glitch. What is? The oh, the baby not looking like the parents. That's a pretty bad glitch for them to have in the game. I haven't ever come across that glitch before. I don't know, man. What are you doing, Haley? Haley needs to have some fun. What is there to do that's fun? Is sunbathing fun? It's too dark to sunbathe. Okay, swimming is fun. Why don't you go swimming? Go swim around. In your bathing suit, which is actually just a dress. I don't really understand. The baby gets a random skin color they patched, and it seems it came back again. Oh, great. That sounds about right. That definitely sounds like The Sims. We need to have a kava party. We should have a kava party before Uki moves out, because he wants to have a gold kava party or whatever. What's Emma doing? Emma, you need to go get some food. Actually, we need to have a feast. Everyone's just going to start getting cereal. Let's have, let's have some Kahlua pork this time. What are you doing, Allison? Watering the garden? Okay. Okay, this time we need... Oh, okay. You can say sell taro roots... I don't know if it will sell all the tarot roots or just the plant you're clicking on. I don't know. Isaac, you're done sleeping. Why don't you come over here? Harvest the coconuts. There's a lot of coconut songs. There's the, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. And then there's, put the lime in the coconut. There's probably other ones too. All right, Allison, you might be in the way a little bit. Let's see. Okay, space them out all nice. Look at that. Maybe, maybe we just want one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe we just want five coconut trees. That seems good. Here. Plant that, plant that, plant, plant, and then give this coconut to Casey because he wants to eat one. Whoa, where'd it go? Oh, okay, it's over here on the ground. Casey, Casey, you can stop watering. That's not even your job. Look, you're getting them all drippy. Casey, eat this coconut. You got the plants all drippy. You soaked them. Why'd you do that? All right. Look at that. His first ever, first ever fulfilled goal. It's feeling great. Now you need to get a suntan, Casey. Why don't you sunbathe? You could sunbathe in your swimwear. It doesn't have to be. Oh, right. You were also cooking. Well, okay. I mean, somebody else can get that. You can, you just come over here. 
What's wrong with you? You can't? Is there not space for it? Here, we'll move the towel. Move the towel out here. Now you can sunbathe. Maybe. There you go. Okay, we just got to make sure. What is wrong with him? It's fine. Fine. Sunbathe in your current outfit. Whatever. What is wrong with him? Why can't you sunbathe on the towel? Sunbathe in the nude. He can't. Why? This thing is broken. This towel is defective. We need to bring it back. Take it back to the island store, the towel store, wherever we got it. Tell them it's broken. I can't lay on it. Hey, hey, stop. Stop getting cereal and stuff. Come on, there's delicious food right here. Come on, look at all this pork adobo. Don't you want that delicious pork adobo? I don't know what it is. It's best not to ask. Oh, actually, this is Kahlua pork. All right, all right. Now put it down. Put it down and everybody can come eat. Where is everybody? I feel like we're missing some people. Oh, what were you two doing in the bathroom? Yeah, you got caught. That's right. I don't know what was going on in there with the stinky toilets. Okay, I'm thinking maybe $3,000 will set them up nicely. If we can make just a little bit more money to give the Hekekias to move out with. New Loy Sawata. So, Emma needs to take a shower. And she can come over here and do some fishing. Jamari also needs to take a shower. Man, these fishermen, they just get so stinky. And he can go fishing. Is sack. You got the coconuts taken care of, so now you can sell all of this. There you go. 51. Well, okay. See, I don't understand. Sell all pineapples says $24. Oh, maybe different. Maybe because those are normal quality. I don't know. It's like they're just random amounts. Are these all normal quality? Why are all of our plants normal quality? Get better at gardening, Isek. Come on, this is your only function in life. It's the only reason you're here. Elson, don't use that one. Somebody's showering. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go pee like a champion and take a shower. Like a normal person. What are you doing? You didn't make it to the shower in time. Ah, uh, Emma. Emma, now look what happened. Now there's an angry baby. Emma, go shower in the waterfall. Hey, who's swimming around over here? And hey, what's the big idea? We got, who are all these people just milling about? We got Halia. We got, hey, wait a minute. Was this Isak's lady? Ra Rahu. That is Isak's lady. Okay, Isaac, take a break. Take a break from talking to the plants. And you need to come over here. And, uh, you know what? Why don't you just build a sand sculpture together? Want to build a sand sculpture with me, lady? Hey there, pretty girl. Would you want to build a sand castle with me? <laughs> What's wrong with her? Why was she so upset? Okay, he's a little bit smelly. 
but I mean, that just comes with the territory. If you're going to date a castaway, you're just going to have to put up with a little bit of a smell. That's just how it is. She ought to know that. All right. Uki, do some beach combing. Haley, take care of your child. Oh, Allison's taking care of your child for you. Because you're not doing anything. Except she's all dirty. She's getting dirt all over your baby. <laughs> hey, you're getting my baby all dirty. <laughs> Stop that. Found a sea urchin shell. Okay, that sounds good, I guess. We're almost there. We've almost got $3,000. And then I'll feel good about moving them out. Okay. Is she... Have we flirted with her at all? We have. Oh, yeah. They've got a solid base of romance here. That's exactly how they describe it, probably. People are like, so, what's going on with you and Ra Ra Who? He's probably like, well, we have a solid base of romance. Did you see what Fetu just did? He just stepped right in our sandcastle. What a savage. Why would he do something like that? That is mean. A little late for the party. All right. Yes. Rub that sand sculpture sensually. Don't step on our... What are you doing? What are you doing, lady? Wiki. Wiki LaFeo. Get out of here. Okay, okay. I think maybe she complimented our sand sculpture and then went about her business like a normal person. Like a considerate individual. All right, great. We made a shark with a man inside his mouth. Ah, so so. Okay, great. We did a good job. Let's hold hands now and sing a song or something. There's a picture. You're like a picture in my heart. You're like an art. You're like heart art. Oh, I don't, I don't know what that means. Okay, that's great. Okay, so listen, listen. A couple of my uh, compadres, they're gonna be moving out soon, and with their baby, which means we'll have some more room on our island. Have you ever wanted to sleep in a pea shack? I bet you have. I can make that happen for you. Let's go woohoo in a waterfall. Are we by the waterfall? Uh, sorta. Not really. We'll make it. It's fine. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, what's wrong with him? Oh, he's all smelly, and he's got to pee. It's fine. Don't screw this up, Isak. You just, you got to hold it until you get to the waterfall. Come on. Oh, oh, it's already ruined. You already ruined it. You're too smelly. Okay, just plant a big old stinky kiss on her, then. Nope, she doesn't like it. She's like, you smell like actual poop. And this is not what we want right now. Okay, okay. You've got to go You've got to go take a shower. Why don't you shower in the waterfall? Attract frogs. Here. Shower in the waterfall. And maybe she'll go over there with you. We'll see. I don't know. And you can pee in the ocean or something. I don't know. It's not like you got anything else to do. What are you two doing? Oh, she just really wanted to have some fun. Why don't you swim around? And Uki, you need to be beachcombing. You've got a kid you've got to provide for. Come on now. He blew it. That baby's picture at the bottom is super creepy. Why? <laughs> just because it's all dark and shadowy? He's fine. Logan's fine. Don't worry about Logan. Emma, you should be fishing. Have you still not showered, Emma? Why are you so bad at this? You're so bad at life. Both of you fisher people. You just can't handle it. Alright. You got your shower all worked out there? Good. You got it figured out? Why don't you come pick up some of this? I wonder why you can't sell. Maybe you can only click sell all on plants that you planted yourself. Okay, Ra Ra who's just hanging out, hanging out here in the water. Why don't you go swim with Ra Ra Who? And I mean, you can pee while you're swimming around. It's fine. 
Nobody has to know. Oh, we were going to have a kava party, though. Ah, well, we'll have a kava party later, and we'll just invite them over. We'll have a kava party here in a few days, and we'll invite them over, and they can bring little toddler Logan over if they want. Hello, friggin' heck. Does the winner of the challenge get the super mansion? Oh, that would be cool, but it's actually in a different... It's in a different universe. It's in a different world. Who's this? Oh, that's Makoa. Okay, listen. These people are supposed to be showering and fishing, and you just... I don't understand why they can't handle it. They can't seem to focus on their showers. Okay, now you can go take a shower. I've got to, like, supervise this. Because these two, I've been trying to get them to shower all day, and they just won't. You can harvest, then sell the plants. Yeah, I can I can do it that way, but I guess there's not, like, an automatic sell option if you didn't plant it, is what I mean. Okay, great. We're all swimming around. We're having a great time. Where did Isak go? Isak, why aren't you in the ocean? What's Nalani doing out here? Isak, Isak. What's going on with you? A water vehicle must mean your inventory. You're too uncomfortable to swim. Come on, Isaac. What? Uh, fine. Just stand out there. Just stand out there until you pee yourself. I guess. If you're too uncomfortable to swim because you need to pee, just stand out there until you pee on the beach. I don't care. Soil your swimsuit. Doesn't matter to me. It's not my concern. Some people. Some people just can't be helped. Okay. What's wrong with you now, Emma? Oh, now she's insecure. Emma and Jamari, you guys need to go fish together. So that Emma won't be insecure. You agree with Isaac sometimes? You, you too hate getting wet? Well, he's going to get wet one way or the other, let me tell you. I don't think he can even make it to the public restroom over here without swimming. But we're, we're trying to pretend that doesn't exist because it doesn't make any sense. Here, why don't you clean up some of this trash while you're over here waiting? You could, you could do some beachcombing over here, actually. Oh, this is the wrong person. Isaac. Here. Isaac, do you're too uncomfortable to do anything. Fine. Fine. You're literally just gonna have to stand there until you pee yourself. And then you can rejoin society, I guess. Whatever. Whatever, Isaac. What is Casey doing? Casey, what are you doing right now? Casey is so uncomfortable. Casey is about to drown. Shout forbidden words. Why? <laughs> uh, wait, can you fart in the water? Oh, I guess not. He's just going to wade out of the water. Fine, Casey. Well, okay. Now we got another person who's too uncomfortable to swim. That's stupid. There's no such thing as needing to pee too bad to swim. You should get going now. Yeah, fine. Get, get out of here, rah rah -hoo. Sorry. Sorry that your love interest is too incompetent to handle peeing and swimming at the same time. All right, I think I think we have enough stuff to sell to give them about three thousand dollars to start their new life with. We got a kava root. We don't need that. What is this? Exotic goldfish for eighteen dollars. Ooh, exotic! Wow, amazing. Is a chump fish. 
This is chump change fish right here. All right, we scrounged up $3,000. Let's see how we do this. I don't actually know how to move people out. Will they even move out with their baby? I'm kind of worried that they won't now. Let's see. Hey. <laughs> do you not move out with the phone? Move household? Let's see. Let's see what happens when I do this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm scared. Well, no, I don't want to move the whole place. The whole family. No. Why are their funds $14,000? Oh, maybe from selling the place. How do we move them out? How do you move out just specific people? I can't remember how to do it now. Wow, congratulations for moving here. Oh, no. Oh, no, what just happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we accidentally moved them over here. Okay, no, no, no. No, we're fine. Everything's fine. Everything is as it was. But where... Maybe I have to go to Manage Worlds. Like Lucas says. Sure, save and go to Manage Worlds. I don't know why they can't just make it like every other Sims game where you just call, you just use the phone and say you want to move out. Why do they have to make this one so different? It's like the people who made this game hadn't ever played any of the other Sims games. Okay, maybe manage household. Transfer Sims between households. Okay. Interesting. Okay, we're going to create a new household. Currently not in world. I mean, it gives them $20,000, but I don't want to do that. I want them to have to use the money. Hmm. I don't know. Whoa, not you. What are you doing here? <laughs> okay, and you and the baby, right? That's correct, right? These are the Hekekias. Okay. Can I name them? Okay, they've moved out, and now I need to move them in somewhere. Where should they move to? They could move just right up the road. That might be kind of nice. Let's see, that's 5,000, that's 8,000. So... Okay. I'm going to make it where the money for the lot doesn't matter. Because these are all just empty lots where nobody lives. It's not like they have to buy it from somebody. We're going to make them start out with the $3,000 we saved up. And then we'll just take $3,000 away from the castaway family. So I think we want them... Although, I mean, he's a merman, so they're probably going to want to live somewhere beachfront. It just would be nice for them to... I mean, that's close enough to the beach. It's fine. They're going to live by the volcano. So they're just a nice swim away. I mean, we could put them over here, too. Here, maybe we'll put them in this big lot so they're closer to the ocean. I think they're a little closer to us, too. We'll do that. We'll put somebody else up there by the volcano. So, create new house. What? Jack, stop it. You can use the free real estate command, then. It makes the lots free. 
Well, we're going to mess with their money anyway, so it doesn't matter. I mean, it gives them $20,000 when they move out, which is silly. Manage households. Here we go. Okay, I want to move these people in to this lot. Okay, great. But we want to build them something. They need the essentials at least. I wonder if like, I guess the game probably doesn't have them make money or anything on their own, does it? So that kind of sucks. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, because I don't want them all to, everyone except the main family to just be living in little shacks. But I don't know. The terrain is really weird here. Okay, so let's change their money to... This thing cheats on money, 3,000. I didn't do it right. There we go. Testing cheats off. Okay. So, that should be enough. Where's the island? Over there. Okay. Should be enough for a nice little shack right here. With a nice view here. Let's build it over here where their, their ocean view is. And they've got their little fishing area if they want to do some fishing what is this solitary stool oh oh look this is all the new is that spa day look at the new spa day stuff i'm gonna get really distracted looking at this stuff okay 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 focus focus we're not building a spa we're building a shack Just uh, put it right here. See, that's a thousand dollars already. They just need a bed and a toilet and a shower and a bassinet. So, boom, there we go. And they're gonna need. We can even, we can give them some personality of their own. Maybe they have like a painted shack. Maybe they have a different color shack than we have. Let's see. Still probably just want like a basic door. Look at all these doors. Dainty doggy door. Oh, these are doggy doors. Oh, look at that. That's not a doggy door. What is that? Oh, that's a spa door. That's really cool. Okay, okay, focus. Just gonna have a wooden door. We'll put the door right here. I don't know if they can afford windows yet. Let's not worry about that just yet. Let's see. Let's filter for island stuff. Uh, okay, never mind. Modern wood paneling. Well, that's not what it was. Where's the wood? Starboard? I guess that's it. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem right. Pinstripe grains? Is this what we use? What did we build the shack out of? Now I don't understand. Oh. Okay, well, I don't know where this stuff was. Okay, they can have, like, a yellow one, maybe? Although, they seem to like red. We'll give them a nice little red shack. Uh, put the baby over here by the mailbox. <laughs> here. Here, you can be over here by the mail. 
Just watch for the mailman. A doggy door is cruel and unusual. You like it. <laughs> okay. Put the baby right here. Oh, I guess I need to build a wall. Oh, they don't even have enough for a bed now. Oh, geez. I didn't give them enough. Well, hmm, they can pee in the ocean. Who's this? Who's walking by right now? I think that's the Ngata lady. Okay. Oh, well, we need coverings in here. We need a roof. This will give us a better idea of how much money we need to be saving for future offshoots to live on. Go down a little bit, maybe up a little bit. Here we go. It needs to be the thatch stuff. It can be a little darker. And then we need this one. Boom. Look at that. Look at their little red barn. Can we change this to be red? We can. All right. It's got a little red door now. Fantastic. Look at their little red shack. It's beautiful. They need a bed. All right. What kind of bed did we give them? Just the rustic one. Maybe they need an air cushion. <laughs> How much is this? $345? That's pretty good. This is only $790. That's not bad. And they can have red since they like red so much. I just picked red because Uki's tail is red when he turns into a merman. Okay. So they got this. They need something to prepare food with. And they need a toilet. Oh, no. I haven't left them. Well, okay. Food is more important than toilet. You can pee anywhere. So I've heard. Appliances? Here we go. They can't afford the, the barbecue grill. Oh, man, these are expensive. Okay, well, you got this. Now they only have $62. Oh, no. Oh no, they don't have enough money to even eat. We can't even get them a cooler. How much is the cooler? $145. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to have to play them for a little while. <laughs> they've got to They've got to make some money. The baby's sad. Here. Uki, you're going to have to make some money. Um I don't know what's wrong with the baby exactly. Just bounce it. Feed it. I don't know. Shoosh it. Just do things. Just do things until the baby is fine. Okay. Is this not a beach? Here. Okay. Beach comb. Good. Good. Can we kill the seagulls and eat their meat? No. We can only chase or scare them. Look at that. That's beautiful, though. Totally worth not being able to afford food or a toilet. When you get to watch a sunset like that, that's beautiful. Okay, great. You found a cake. Well, um, can we sell it? It is spoiled. You, you can't eat it. You can't sell it. It's terrible. This is the worst. Man, they don't have windows. They don't have a shower. I guess they can shower in the waterfall for now. She wants to sleep. You can't sleep. Not right now. You need to go make some money. Who's here? Who are you? Tamati? Okay. Just some buff guy with bleached hair named Tamati showed up. Hey, uh, you, got any, you got any money, Tamati? Who's this? Who's this mer woman? Oh, it's Nalani. Oh, look, it makes... <laughs> the water effect makes it look like her face is melting. Okay. All right, Nalani. Uh, I don't suppose you have any money. You don't need to swim around right now. You need to get some money. 
Come on, go beach combing. Maybe we should have let them take some some plants with them. I don't know, I'm really worried about this family. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna make it. They've got a baby to feed and they can't even afford a toilet. There we go, there's 50 bucks. Woo! How much is a toilet anyway? We got another tulip shell. All right, all right, we're in business here. I think we got this. Let's see. Oh, look at all these new toilets. Too, too cool for number two. <laughs> what? The Copper Stopper. Mr. Tinkle's Litter Box. Okay. The Ambassador is $250. That is functional off the grid. None of these other ones are. Oh, this one is. The Old Time Antique Toilet for some reason. Do they just, like, throw darts at a wall to decide what what is uh, functional off the grid and what isn't? All right, we need $250. I guess they can get by without a shower for now. They're pretty close to the waterfall. Where is the waterfall? It's just right here. They can walk to the waterfall, the shower. There's Layla just walking around being mad. What's this? Abalone shell. A baloney shell. Baloney shells are expensive. Ooh, here we go. We got a $1,200 jewel. Okay, great. We're fine now. Now we're set up well. Now we can buy indoor plumbing. Maybe we can even have a separate wall. I don't know. Let's not get carried away. This is a cool sink. Okay. Uh, everything got rearranged here. The ambassador. Here, I think we need to change that there. Here, let's put the toilet at the other end from the bed. Uh, we should give them... We should give them a shower. Oh, they need a cooler for sure. Give them a nice red one. Here we go. Perfect. They need a shower. Great. Look at that. Look at that. People would kill for this kind of luxury. Amazing, and they still have $700 left. What will we spend all of that money on? I guess they need a sink. We'll give them one of these sinks. Is this the cheapest one that's off functional off the grid? Oh, this one is for some reason. But that doesn't make any sense. Here, we'll give them this one. Boom. There you go. Maybe it should be... Like that. Perfect. Perfect. They've got room to spare. We didn't even need to make their house so big. What luxury they're living in. We've got enough money left over for some chairs even. Maybe even a table. My goodness. What kind of chairs do we want? How about this? Nice little folding chair. There we go. We still got $400. That's probably enough for a table. Uh, try to get it to match, kind of. That's close enough here. We just Oh, we really needed a toddler bed for them. <laughs> Cuz they're about to have a toddler. Oh no, how much are toddler beds? I 
I can't even tell which one's a toddler bed and which one's a normal bed. 200, 200, 160. All right. Well, little Logan can have... He can have the green toddler bed. Where's that going to go? Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. They're going to need money. Oh, right, right. We're on the same page there, Bunsen. Okay, they'll also need the child potty. The toddler potty. I mean, they won't really need one, but, but we want to give them one. Potty chair. Oh, here we go. We have enough. Get them. We'll get them a green one to go with the toddler bed. Let's say Logan likes green. He's just different than his family. Okay. All right. Uh, they only have $32 left, so probably not enough money to buy anything else. Um, they don't have any sort of lighting. <laughs> But hey, they got a roof over their heads. They've got food to eat. They've got a place to sleep, shower, pee, wash their hands. I think they're good. I think they are set up well. We will leave them to it. So it looks like they actually need about $5,000 <laughs> to get set up in a reasonable little shack. So the next time we move somebody out, we'll give them 5000 All right, let's go back to Manage Worlds. Okay. Well, I still want to be in Sulani. Oh, yeah, there's a new neighborhood with pets, isn't there? <laughs> they have this huge lot. There's a tiny little speck right here. Oh, you can't even see it. You can't even see their house. It's so small. It's hidden behind my face. All right. Uh, select a sim to play. I mean, all, all of them. I wish to play them all. Okay. Did everybody's needs get reset? I think they did. No, they didn't. Oh, I guess he just peed himself at some point. Okay, great. Good job. What are you doing all the way out here anyway? What are you people doing? I don't remember what I was even having him do. Okay, but we need to... Testing cheats on. We need to give them $181. Because the Hekekias took all the rest. All right. You can't be magically making anybody just magic up some dollars. I don't know what he's doing all the way over here. Just go home. Just go home by yourself. I don't know why he went over there with him, with them. I'm so confused about what's going on here. It's like he went to visit the neighbors for some reason. I don't know what happened. None of that makes any sense. What is Isaac even doing back here? This isn't where he was. Whatever, whatever. The baby's gone. Can we sell our complimentary bassinet for $150? I mean, we might as well hang on to it. We're going to need one. Okay. All right. Who's going to have the next baby? Let's see. It's 730 at night. Everybody's in a relatively good mood. I say we have a kava party. Well, let's wait. Let's wait until that toddler grows up a little bit. Can we even see their house from here? We can a little bit. <laughs> it's that little red speck way over there. Okay, we'll have a kava party when they have a toddler so that we can just see their toddler. We may see them, like, wandering around since they live so close. Who's this? Oh, that's Leela. Okay. All right, I don't know. Just beachcomb and stuff. 
or or go have another child. Here. Why don't you go try for a baby with Allison? We'll have a bunch of kids. Emma and Jamari. Here, let's just... <laughs> everyone just try for a baby at the same time. It'll be fine. It's normal. Who's calling you? Teulia says, I heard you became friends with Rara Huture. She's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I think he wanted to be more than friends, but she didn't like how smelly he was. What are you going to do? <laughs> you might want to you might want to go find something to do outside, Isak. It's about to get crazy in here. Are you coming? What are you what are you guys doing? They got distracted. It's Let's try again. I don't understand what happened here. Come on. Uh, hello. I don't know if maybe you forgot, but we were gonna try for a baby just now. Yeah, yeah, all right. I remember now. Let's do this. Woo! <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'll try for a baby, but uh, I'm bringing my cereal with me. Where is he going? Casey, why can't you focus? Oh, uh, I think they won't do it with other people in the room. I think is the problem. I think they're too shy. Okay, go out here. Isaac, you go outside too. Go out here and beachcomb for a minute. <laughs> hey, why don't you do some exercise? Okay, okay, great. Great, it's a good time now. Try for a baby with Emma. You've got lots of privacy. It's going to be fine. Isak is just over here talking to his plants. You need to spray those plants. You got bugs. You got, you got bug problems, Isak. Get on that. Okay, everybody's finally gone. You want to you wanna try for a baby now? Yeah, all right, let's do it. And here we go. Okay, <laughs> and ready, go. We'll, we'll change into our our pajamas, which are basically just a full set of clothes. Hmm, what's going on in this bed? Hmm, strange. Oh my. Oh, I'd better I'd better do these dishes some other time. You can see you've joined the perfect time. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to the baby factory, Shaq. Hello, Tepiaz. Okay. Oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. I just came in here to do the dishes. What's going on? Okay, fine. Everyone just file in one at a time and try to do the dishes. <laughs> Isak is like, I don't know what everybody's problem is. Why is everybody so afraid of the dishes? I don't see anything weird going on in here. I'm just going to do these dishes. You guys are a bunch of babies. Nibs. <laughs> Nibs? Why did everybody walk in on us? Okay. Alright, why don't you guys go to sleep? I don't know, you're hungry. Here, why don't you guys go take a, a good cereal break? You're probably hungry from all of that activity. You need to replenish some calories. Have some post coital cereal. Okay. Isak, you need to take a shower. Get in there. Get in there now while you can. What are what are you doing? Casey has identified the minnow. Great. Great. Allison taught Casey about minnows. That's fantastic. I'm glad you were here to teach them all about minnows. So anyway. Would you like to go try for a baby? Why is he feeling embarrassed? From privacy violation? Oh, get over it. Come on. You guys all live in a tiny shack together. There's no privacy here. Oh, I forgot. Allison gets sad every time she sees the fish decoration. That's a bit of a problem, since it's on the front door. 
Captain Fishbones Bonefish. No, guys, no. Why are you all in here right now? Why did everybody come in here? You're supposed to be taking a shower. What are you doing? Go take your quick and tepid shower, and we'll have some quick and tepid woohoo. <laughs> so, uh, everybody else is having babies. Do you think maybe uh, we should have one too? Oh, yeah, let's do it. All right. I'll put on my very best purple and yellow pajamas. Your favorite. So sexy. Alright, Isaac. Uh, you need to go repair this sink. Just avert your eyes. Just don't... No, no. I said avert your eyes. Just focus on the sink, man. Don't worry about it. Isaac, come on. He's like, I just can't focus. I can't focus knowing what's going on outside. Just focus on the sink. Don't let your mind wander. Okay. All right, great. We'll see who's pregnant and who isn't. I don't know why you're... Why aren't you tired? <laughs> sure, just to remind him how lonely he is. I know. Well, freaking Rara, who she always comes by at the worst times. Someday he's gonna move out with Rara, who, or maybe they'll just live here. I don't know. We can have a couple of families living here at a time, it's, unless they're gonna have like a ton of kids. I guess, I guess it gets kind of difficult when like the parents start getting old. Oh, the grandparents start getting old. We start running out of space. So, I don't know. Isaac and Rara, who might move out someday. They might just live here. I don't know. He really wants to have a family of his own, though. But he wants to have a successful lineage, and I feel like he's going to have the best chance of that by living here, where all the money makers are. But man, if our two Fisher people move out, then what are we going to do for money? They're our biggest breadwinners. Our biggest fish winners. Oh no, what happened? Performed poorly. Oh, Casey. Casey, come on, man. You can do better than that. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to go sleep in this bed by myself. I'm embarrassed. Okay, Casey, you know what you need to do? You need to do some exercise. Uh, go jogging after that. There you go. Get that confidence back. Come on, man. Great, now you're feeling playful. What does this give you? Yeah, that's playful. I think... Energizing. Okay, we've got energizing decor and inspiring decor. <laughs> Who's laughing in their sleep over there? Oh, what are you going? Did you jog into the water? What's his fitness skill at? Three, almost four. He's not doing too bad. He just, he doesn't look very fit. You don't look very fit to me there, Pudgy. That's not even, that's just his personality though. He's, what he actually wants to do is get a suntan and a kava party. Allison wants to work on her comedy skill. Why are you so dirty? So dirty and hungry. How'd all that dirt get in your bed? 
You guys are doing some unconventional woo-hooing. What? What's wrong with you? Here, why don't you drink this, since you're in such a bad mood? Well, you won't be in a bad mood here in a minute. You just gotta take care of yourself. You gotta go to the bathroom, take a shower. Can you clean the showers? No? Okay. Man, they just gotta use nasty, smelly bathrooms. Until we can get the power turned on. And the plumbing. Which, I think... I think I decided that when the population is 30... For the whole neighborhood, that's when they can have power. And if we get five community lots built up... Then, uh... They can... They can start having careers. How's the baby doing? I don't know. The baby lives over there. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure little baby Logan is just fine. I mean, one of his parents has like three whole parenting points. They're incredibly skillful. It's fine. What do you... What is that? Where'd it go? Is it juice? Shimmeray Jabin Slawfish. Here, I'll just get that juice can for you and <laughs> shove it down the sink drain. You're welcome. Should we try for a baby again just to make sure it worked? I mean, everyone's asleep right now. This seems like a good time. Hey, uh, you want to give it another shot just to make sure? I know I performed poorly. Let me uh, see if I can see if I can do a little better this time. Oh, oh, Jamari, you ruined it. You ruined everything, Jamari. Let's try again. All right, we got we just got to be quicker this time, okay? Let's get to the bed nice and quick, like. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. All right, fantastic. Pay no attention, Emma. Don't worry about it. Go take a shower. Why is Jamari so dirty? Okay, great. Why does woohooing make them all so filthy? You're just a bunch of filthy, filthy people. I don't know what you guys are doing under those covers. Just get dirt all over you. Jamari, what was that? Was that a leaf blower? What are you doing? What is that? What is this contraption you have? How, how did you make this? Okay, now you're just spraying for bugs. I don't understand what that was. I don't know what he was doing just now. He needs to take a shower, though. I guess we need to make a feast, because everybody's hungry. Let's cook a nice fish dinner feast again. Fish breakfast. Delicious. What are you doing? I think you need to go beach combing. You need to quit sitting there talking to yourself and go beach combing. Uploading a video to YouTube takes ages. I mean, depends on your upload speed. Hey, that's not beach combing, that's yogurt. What are you doing? Oh, you don't need a beach comb. You're supposed to be, you know what? You need to take a shower 
and then you'll eat the feast, and then Jamari and Emma. Maybe the showers just don't really raise their hygiene very much because they're crappy showers. It's your first song in the new album, but I'm hogging the internet. You shall not stop watching. It's mine. All of your internets are mine. I'm clogging up all the tubes. What's Isaac doing? Isaac, you need to go harvest all your stuff. Sell everything. Sell everything. Make us that money, Isaac. Maybe we should plant even more stuff. My tubes! That's right. I think you mean my tubes. Okay, it looks like you finally figured out how to shower. Um, good job. We're about to have a feast. Don't get the cereal. We're about to have a feast. This is why we have so many dishes. People are just constantly getting yogurt and cereal and just getting their dirty dishes everywhere. Thanks for collecting all the dirty dishes, Casey. Here, why don't you guys just go hang out? Everyone just go go hang out by the barbecue. It's fine. See, you can all just go look at it. Even you, Casey. I don't know what you're doing. Well, Casey needs to pee. Okay, great. Wow, look at all that. Look at that barbecue. Look at how we're going to have some delicious food soon. Okay, great. I feel like maybe that doesn't actually increase your cooking skill very much. He's not even to cooking skill level three. Uh, pack into sack lunch. Sack lunch, you say? I want to try that. How do you do that? Put those down. Here, we need to call to meal. Okay, you got a sack lunch. Unpack sack lunch. Well, what's the point? <laughs> Does it stay good forever? No, it doesn't. I don't understand. What's the point of a sack lunch? Where'd it go? It's gone. It disappeared. Your sack lunch disappeared. That must be new with, with an expansion or something that I got. I don't know. Alright, great. We're all gonna have fish dinner as a family. Or at least we're all gonna sit here. So, which nation should we go to war with? That's a garbage idea, you moron. We can't go to war. There's only five of us. I'm going to bed. Okay. I guess I'll do the dishes. Children can take them to school. It's from parenthood. Oh, okay. That's kind of nice. Squaz Nelcher. Squaz Nelcher. Haley Hakekia is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. How is Haley Hakekia uh, communicating with us exactly? I mean... We'll go over to their house to hang out when we're good and ready. When we feel like hanging out, we'll go hang out. Not sure... What? Not sure is for free RP or has some function. I don't know. Seems like it's just sort of an RP thing. All right, now that our fish dinner is over and everybody's feeling super playful from Morcabus, let's uh, go fishing. Maybe they should go fishing in a new place. Let's do that. Where's another place to fish? Can they fish over here? No. Can they go... Can they go over here and fish without going to their lot? Let's try it. That's a really long way to go, but... 
They both went efficient in three places. Okay, Isaac. Okay. You're getting a little too crazy. You're having a little bit too much fun, Isaac. You need to take a quick and tepid shower. Come over here and talk to your plants. Okay. Getting a little too crazy. All right, Casey. It's time for some more exercise. Wait, no, what he actually needs, he needs to get a suntan. Let's see if he can use the towel now. Maybe the heat's getting to him? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Where did Allison go? Oh, she's napping. Okay. Why can't he get a suntan? All right, all right. Let's let's buy one of those chairs that you lay in. Here we go. Put this out here over by the water. That's really where the towel should be, too. All right, now sunbathe. Can you do that? Can you handle that, man? Is there just something going on with the towel, maybe? Oh yeah, great, you got it. No problem, okay. Oh, you should probably put on, apply sunburn protection. You don't wanna, you don't wanna burn. Okay, great. Doing great. How are the fishermen going? Where are they? Oh. Did Emma make it over there? Emma, oh, she's on her way. Okay, okay, they're doing great. Everything's fine. Hmm. He's not getting any credit for doing three different locations. I feel like this might be glitched. What if the angling ace uh, aspiration is glitched? Then what will we do? Got that suntan yet? Protected from the sun. Okay. Okay. Just putting on sunscreen makes him happy. That's great. Why are you eating cereal? There's delicious fish. Oh, man. Here, eat the fish. Have some of this normal quality fish. You'll love it. Maybe we need a different grill. Let's get a grill that doesn't require, that doesn't take so long. Oh, we don't have enough money. $650. Okay, well, I kind of want this one anyway. 940 Oops. Yep. All right, Allison, why don't you go try out your comedy uh, skills? Let's uh, tell him a joke about engineers. What does what does a car motor hear with? Engine ears. Ha ha ha. It's funny. Get it? Do you get it? Flash in the crazy eyes. Uh huh. Ah, comedy. Make some funny faces at him. Ha <laughs> ya. Oh man, that was great. <laughs> that was a great funny face you made just now. Wow. Great. You got that comedy skill. You need just one more comedy skill level. And you got some aspiration points. Let's uh, tell him a knock knock joke. Where are you going? Where are you going? You don't even have to pee that bad. What's fine? 
Fine, don't tell him a knock knock joke. Whatever. How's that suntan coming? You got it? Still working on it? Okay. Don't hurt yourself. Jamari Glover has caught a new fish, Gummy Guppy. All right. Okay. Let's go back to that comedy. Tell him a knock-knock joke. What was that? Make funny faces. That's it. Okay. Mokosa. Polonide, Yanisaj, Lonkas. <laughs> oh man, that was a funny story about Jack in the Boxes. Oh yeah, I'll tell it again then. But this time I'll tell it even better. Ha <laughs> ha, that was good still again. The second time that you said the same thing. Still funny. Get him with those funny faces again. He loves the funny faces. And then she was like, that's no llama, that's my wife. Ha ha ha. ha. Oh man, that's so funny. All right, all right, get ready. Get ready for a funny face. You ready for this? Oh, uh, it's funny, right? That's real good. Man, she's so good at comedy. Now flash in the crazy eyes again. <laughs> mm, mm. All right, I feel like we're just getting, we're getting pity laughs at this point. Why don't you tell him a funny story? Oh, did you get a suntan? Oh, look at you! You're looking tan and stinky. I think he did. Got a sweet tan. Okay, for four hours. Do they only stay tan for four hours? Okay, great. Now he just wants gold on a kava party, and the first level of that beach life is complete. All right, everybody's got to go shower again. Too bad these showers are terrible. How's the fishing going? You guys look like you're doing great. Catching all those guppies. What is this? Did you did you fish up a camera? Where did you get that camera? Uh huh. Okay, great, a box. Oh, you have so many voodoo dolls. Well, I mean, you have two. Okay, you know what we need to do? We need to give one of the voodoo dolls to uh, Isak so that he can bind it to Ra Rahu and just summon her. Is she here? She's here right now. Okay, this is the perfect opportunity. Isak, hold on. Hold on, let's put the unbound voodoo doll over here. Isak, you gotta go talk to Ra Rahu before she gets away. Go ask her to cloud gaze. That'll get her. That gets him every time. <laughs> She's like, I think somebody wants to cloud gaze with me. I'll have to sit still and wait for them. <laughs> she seems so annoyed. Gosh, I shouldn't have driven my boat by this island. I should have known better. I was <laughs> just like, well, guess he's not coming. Bye. What's your deal, Isak? What's the matter? Why aren't you going in the water? Ugh. She's getting away. Make a flirtatious joke. Don't let her get away. You can drag the item from the sim inventory to the other sim portrait and pass it that, that way? Oh, okay. Emma has reeled in a butterfly fish. Uh, just release it. I don't know what the deal is with the butterfly fish. He's just standing over there. 
Okay, why don't you go here? Who's this? Fatu, what are you doing? Okay, good. She's coming over here. Just release it. Just release the fish. It doesn't matter. All right. And then he can make a flirtatious joke. Can we... Can we drag this into his inventory? We can. Where'd he go? Okay. Okay, we're almost there. Just jogging past that abandoned, ye old abandoned public restroom and picnic table. Schwabe. Well, hi there. Okay, hey, I've got to do something real quick. Just, uh, it'll only take a second. Don't worry, it won't hurt or anything. Don't chat with her, just... You should get going now. I don't think so. Not right now. Did it work? Okay, great. Great. Now she is bound to voodoo. Here, frolic with it. Now we can summon her whenever we want. Did it work? Did you feel frolicked with? Let's go make a joke. Don't let her get away. Why are you just standing there? She's getting away, dude. Invite her to stay the night. Anything. So, you want to stay the night? And let me look at your lips. Uh, a sleepover? Great. I'll just ignore that weird thing you said about lips. Okay, good. Do you have a computer I can use? N no. No, I don't. But uh but we can beachcomb together. We can talk to my plants. Do you want to talk to my plants? Uh I mean not really. Let's, uh I mean their romance is pretty high, really. I wonder if she has any handcuffs at home. I sure don't have any. Oh no, she's tired. Oh no, don't be tired. Whisper seductively. Who's swimming by now? Is Fetu stalking us? Is that Fetu? It is. What is Fetu doing? Exotic goldfish. Oh boy. A beanie shrozy. How many sims do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So, okay, we could move her in. Mm, we can move her in, but she can't have a baby because we've got two other babies on the way. We could move her in if we wanted, though. I mean, I guess she's staying the night here, so whatever. Did everybody go to bed? Oh no, what what happened to Allison? Oh. Oh, didn't see you there, Allison. Oh no. Oh no, our fisher people, they need they desperately need to come back here and eat. One minute until spoiled. Oh, we didn't make it. Okay. Guess you guys are having cereal for dinner. Sorry. Uh, where did, where did Rara who go? Oh, she's over there. She's like, fine, if I'm spending the night, then, uh, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm just gonna go sleep in, <laughs> in the fish bed. Oh, weird, it smells like fish in here. Uh, okay, why don't you just go join her? Just, just go sleep in that bed. I'm sure, I'm sure the fish couple... The Fisher couple will be fine. 
They'll understand. Hello, Anonymous. Great tongues, great tongues. We should just call them the Fishers. I don't know. what are, What is his last name? Glover. I guess they'll be the Glovers. Although Lord is a way better last name. They could be the Lords. The Lord family. How awesome is that? What's going on with you, Allison? Grab a drink. What's wrong with you? Why are you sad? What are you crying about? Oh, right. The fish friend. She's just... <laughs> Every time she goes in or out of the shack, she gets sad about the fish friend. I mean, I like it, though. It's great. It's Captain Fishbones. He's, it's confident decor. Why does it make you sad? He lived a good life, Allison. I don't know. Skipped work today and just now realized that meant you could be here. All right. I choose to believe you skipped work just to watch the stream, and I'm very, very appreciative. Okay. Honestly, I don't know why anybody goes to work when they could be watching me play The Sims. Uh, are you just gonna are you just gonna drown in the ocean? Is that what you're doing? You're just trying really hard to drown. Come on, man. You need to like. Come get some food. What's going on with Emma? Emma, you didn't even make it here. Oh my gosh, Emma. Emma! Okay, Emma is starving to death. She's not going to make it. She Well, she's got enough energy. She'll make it. I don't know why she didn't come back here. You come back here and use the shower. Oh, it looks like she peed herself. Man, it sucks when you're too focused on fishing to take care of your bodily needs. Okay. Casey didn't do anything productive today. Jamari got some fish. What's this? Exotic goldfish. $18. Wow. Wow, eighteen dollars. Wow. All right, Emma got a lot of fish. You don't need two cameras. Oh yeah, I've got a thousand dollar jewel. Eating for two. Congratulations, Emma is expecting. That's gonna. There's gonna be a new addition to this household. Okay, great. Um, I hope she makes it across the ocean. Oh, she got a voodoo doll, too. Everybody's got voodoo dolls. I mean, I don't think she really needs one. It's $950. Let's sell that thing. You gonna make it? Come on, you need to swim over there before you get tired. I'm glad pregnant people can swim. Otherwise, she would just be stuck over there. Not sure what she would do. Look at all this trash in the ocean. Who's trashing the place up? It's probably Fetu. This is exactly where he was swimming around. He's probably just swimming over here to leave trash in our ocean. What a jerk. Eat your cereal. Come on, what are you waiting on? You don't need to chat with Emma. You need to eat your cereal. <laughs> Vibna! What about this? You you didn't sell your parrot fish. Alright, we've got three thousand dollars. I guess we need to like save up a bit. We need to save up try to save up five thousand, I guess, so we can move out some people when the time comes. Rachadaba Baba. Okay, great. Uh, you still haven't made it to shore, huh? Come on. Come on. Hurry up before you get too tired and you drown. We do not want any pregnant people drowning. That is going to put a big damper on this challenge. Why? This needs to be repaired. 
Ah, uh, great. Allison's our repair person. Hey, quit sleeping. The shower's broken. Sap and Clar. I wish I had a cappuccino. Oh, well. Why don't you go jogging? I love that his jogging outfit is almost exactly the same. And also that he thinks jogging means walk out into the ocean <laughs> and walk back slowly. Great jogging there, bud. Good job. You're killing it. Alright, you need a shower. Can she upgrade these toilets? Grow up. She's too uncomfortable to do this. Well, I don't care if she's uncomfortable. I just want to know if she's able to. Doesn't need level four handiness. What's her handiness? Two. Oh man, I thought she was way better than that. Come on, you've been doing all the repairs. Why not? What's wrong with your handiness skills? You're a mess. You're a mess. Did you come out here to pee yourself? Or you're gonna make it. Maybe she's gonna make it. Okay, okay. Just go to sleep. Hmm. It didn't say Allison was eating for two. Were they unsuccessful in their efforts? They might have been. You need to take a shower, Allison. I don't know. I can't tell if Allison's pregnant. She's always kind of looks that way. I don't know. Do we have a try for baby option? Oh, did they not ever get married? Oh, yeah, we were going to have a wedding. Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Here we are having a child out of wedlock. They never even got married. I forgot we were going to have a wedding for them. Okay, we'll do that in the morning. We'll throw a big, happy wedding with a fish feast and two working showers, hopefully. There, go back to repairing things. Great, you got a plumbing upgrade part. Right before you forget, are you allowed to upgrade things in the Apocalypse Challenge? Uh, I feel like there was, I feel like that was one of the restrictions, but I can't remember. I don't know. I guess if it's not in the rules, then you can. I definitely upgraded things, but I, I feel like that it was in one of the restrictions that you have to lift. I don't know. I mean, you could take a shower. Where is... Oh, yeah, Rara, who is sleeping here. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> okay. So, so. So, so. No, you don't need food. You need a shower. You 
found it. Okay, good. Let's see. Have some cereal. Which career was it under? Cannot upgrade any items besides rocket. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Well, Isak, since you're awake, why don't you plan the party? Let's see. Plan a social event. What what are you doing, Ra Rahu? Why are you dressed like that? What are you doing? Are you going Are you a park ranger? Are you a gardener? Are you a girl scout? What is this? What is this attire? Okay, let's see. A wedding costs a thousand dollars. A kava party only costs a hundred. So guess which one we're doing? We'll just get married at the kava party. Click to invite a sim. Okay. We obviously need to invite all of these people. What about the people who moved out? <laughs> oh, there are those are the hosts? Okay, those are the hosts. Great, we got five hosts. Uh, the guests. Rarahu can come. Arihi can come. Let's just get all these people. The Hekekias obviously are invited. Great. Invite all of the required roles. Oh. Okay, well then these will be hosts. I don't know, I don't understand the difference. Okay, yep, it's going to be here. Astronaut interstellar Robbie smuggler. Oh, okay. So, we've got a great party lined up here. There's going to be Kava. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, you're here already. Where's your child? We wanted to see your child. Did you not bring it? You left your child at home? Okay, well, here, we've got to socialize with the guests. Casey, you need to wake up. Casey, you need to cook a feast. We're gonna have some pork adobo for our guests. Somebody needs to make some kava. Isak, you can do that. Oh, we don't have a countertop. Okay, we gotta buy a countertop so we can make kava. The child is underage. I guess the child's still a baby. I was hoping he had grown up by now. It seems like he should have. It's okay. We'll just go visit them. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got new countertops with spa day. I really like these. Let's use the island countertop. It's kind of expensive. Which one matches our decor? Guess this one. Do we have decor? I guess this is our decor. Okay. I mean, what else do we have? Oh, maybe that one. That one matches a little better, I think. Okay. Should we put this inside? I mean, I don't know why Kava can't be outside. Kava seems like an outdoor activity. But what do I know? I could just put the lone Kava bowl out here. No, it needs to be like... It needs to be out here with this stuff. There. All right, Casey, once you get... Casey can do this. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it requires cooking skill or not, but... <laughs> you know, outside, in the kitchen, exactly. All right, we're socializing with our guests. We're doing a great job. Everything's going well. I mean, Isak is basically holding it down 
all by himself. <laughs> so, do you guys like cupcakes? Gossip with people. Let's thank people for coming. Did you make the kava? Are you done? What's going on with you? Are you what are you are you thinking about it? What are you doing? What are you doing, Casey? Figure it out, man. What's going on with you? I don't understand. Okay, I don't know. He, he, had, he couldn't remember the recipe, I guess. Well, who's in the bathroom? We've got guests socializing with each other in the bathroom. Who are you? Oh, Melee. Okay, great. All right, looks like the kava's ready. Come, come get your kava drinks, everybody. Not yogurt. Put that yogurt down. Come on. Put that down. It's kava time, not yogurt time. Come get your kava. It's over here on the countertop. Hey, there wasn't a countertop there before. Don't worry about it. Great. I'm glad you, you brought your party skirt, Alika. Good job. Okay, okay. Feel like we're gonna run out of time. Oh, we gotta make a kava toast. Okay, kava toast. Uh, hold on, hold on. Is he still drinking his kava? Man, kava parties are so difficult. Hep talk, hip bump. It's not here. Okay, what about this person? We don't even know them. Okay, what about Isaac? I don't see the kava toast. Okay, maybe Isaac can kava toast somebody else. Like... Share photos? What photos? Here we go. Kava toast, Isaac. Hello, Shavantun. Happy Saturday Sims Day. My Saturday is going fantastic. I have a bathroom floor and a toilet. That works. I'm very excited about it. There's no tile on the floor yet, but I do have a floor again. Okay, we toasted. Invite guests to drink kava, but we already make a group meal. Okay, we already did that, didn't we? Basically, tell stories. Okay. All right, we got to tell some stories. Get ready for some stories. Uh... Uh, tell a group story about an enchanted snake. Just Uki, though. We're just going to tell Uki Dooki Luki about an enchanted snake. Okay, where's Allison? Allison, wake up. Wake up, there's a party happening. You're missing out. Allison, you need to tell a story to uh, Haley. Tell her a funny story. Work on that comedy skill. There you go. And then Isaac, tell a story to somebody. You don't even know this guy. You worked much of today, but that's the life of an organist. I always assume you mean internal organs, like you're messing with people's livers or something, and then I remember. But that's not what you meant. Yazib. You're missing all the stories, Ra Rahu. Get out here. Okay, I don't know. You need to make some more kava. Here, why don't you... Why don't you two just tell stories to each other? Hug lovingly. What are these new... Are these new parenthood interactions? I don't understand. You weren't born to look at innards. Allison is your spirit animal. Allison's pretty great. You need to tell a story, Allison. Tell a story to Uki. 
<laughs> All right, I think people are having fun. I think it's going well. Okay, we made the group meal. Here we go. Did your kava... Did you finish the kava? What happened? What happened? How did you fail so hard? Okay, Allison, this, this is going to be up to you, I guess. Prepare the group meal. Allison. Allison, focus. Allison, focus. All right, see you later, Vithika. You had a funeral this morning, a wedding this afternoon, and had to prep for tomorrow's morning service. Time to put the feet up. Wait a minute. Do you have to... Do you play with your feet? Okay, that doesn't count as making a group meal. Ah. Okay, we need to buy a real grill then. We're just... We're wasting all of that money we had saved up. It's fine. Here, we'll get a nice blue one. Put it out here. Well, we'll probably have like a blue house. We'll, we'll just do that. Okay. Okay, so you got the kava. Invite them all to drink. And then... You need to grill up baked potatoes for everybody. Potato party! All right! They can have potatoes with their pork adobo. Come on, everybody. Grab some kava. Call to grab a drink. I don't understand. I don't understand what happened. Did they not want it? Allison, it's up to you. Tell everybody to come get some kava. This is a kava party. We're running out of time here. We want to have a good party. Have Sims become happy at the same time. Oh, jeez. Two Sims have to be happy at the same time. Is that even possible? Okay, we made a group meal. Maybe baked potatoes aren't group meals. I guess they don't count. Here, grab some kava. Whatever. We're going to have to depend on the actual family to get the kava. It has a whole keyboard for your feet. What? Now I'm just picturing you, like, having your feet up here like this, and you're just playing. <laughs> you're, like, using your feet and your hands. To play. I mean, organs have multiple rows of keys, right? The big ones? I don't know. I had no idea some of them were for your feet. All right, somebody else needs to grab some kava. I don't understand what's what's the hold up here. Come on, we're we're running out of time. We're just gonna have a silver level party, and that's not good enough. The feet. All right, gold. We got the gold. Perfect. Oh, we were also gonna get married. Okay. Let's have a, let's, everybody stop eating. Stop what you're doing, everybody. Oh, you need to pee? Oh, hurry up. Hurry up. I don't want you soiling yourself at your own wedding. Gosh, Allison. Okay, we're almost out of time. Allison, come back out here. We're going to do it out here in front of everybody. They may not pay any attention because it's not actually a wedding. He needs to pee too, but we don't have time. Get out here. Get out here, both of you. There's no time for peeing. We've got a wedding. All right, here we go. Um, Elope immediately. Plan wedding event. Oh. Okay, elope right now. <laughs> Right now in front of everybody. There they are. Don't worry. It's fine. You can just focus on your pork and your kava. Pay no attention to the wedding happening right behind you. It's fine. I'm sure they won't mind that nobody cares about them. What are you doing? <laughs> you just like got up and she was just like, I'm going to see what's in the sand right here. Everyone look at my butt real quick. Great, thanks. Excellent wedding behavior. 
We did it. We had a gold kava party. Casey's wildest dreams are coming true. He earned a reward? Check out your new treasure treasure. What is going on here? Perfect, perfect kava kava party party. Why? Why does it? Why? It's so nice. We say it twice. Check out your new treasure treasure in the household inventory inventory. I don't know why you have to talk that way, game. I don't know why you're... Why are you like this? The household inventory. What is all this stuff? There's a tarot root? Is that the treasure treasure? We need to sell this. We don't need these. The fingers of Sulani. I mean... The fingers of Sulani. We're just gonna sell that too. It's a hundred bucks. It'll help pay for that grill. <laughs> okay, great. Oh, we're still we're still having our wedding here. Nobody's paying any attention. You can manually send your other Sims to watch. Oh. Attend wedding. Okay, stop peeing and attend the wedding, you guys. It's gonna be over by the time they get they get here. Shout forbidden words. Well, the wedding's over. Never mind. Never mind. Show's over, kids. Nothing to see here. Successfully added a quote. There's no time for peeing. We've got a wedding. It's true. All right. Um, Emma, why are you so dirty? Take a quick and tepid shower. All right. Um, <laughs> shouldn't you two be at home with your baby? Why are you here? The coffee party's over. Do you just miss home? Do you just miss having chairs to sit in? Oh, you have chairs. You have chairs just like these at home. Elfin. Oh. oh, wow. This reminds me of our wedding. Remember how we got married on this same beach and nobody paid any attention then either? It was so good. It was great. Wow. You are so dirty. Well, you're going to have to wait for a bathroom to open up. Guess I guess I should shave. I really want to see what Logan looks like. Okay. Emma, uh, I mean it's 1 p.m. It's not really even sleeping time. Why is everybody so tired? I guess they're tired from the kava. Calm. They're calm from the kava. It's so calming. And definitely not drugs. Alright. Wait, we don't have a try for baby option with Allison, so I think Allison must be pregnant. Which is probably why she's walking like that. I don't know. Okay, great. Are you gonna stand there and be sad about the fish again? Don't be sad about the fish. Oh yeah, she's definitely pregnant. Eating for two. Just married and pregnant. Wow, yay. She's having such a good day. All right. Their fish at three different locations thing does not seem to be working. Where's a third location that we can walk to? There should be one here. Can they fish in the volcano? Probably not. Are there just those two? There's this one. I don't see any other fishing signs. Look at this. It's like a little private beach. What's in there? What's in there? I guess you can't even go here. Well, you can go there. 
curious. Look at this place. There's a pineapple growing here. Look at this. There's a bunch of lava in the water. Nowhere else to, to fish, though. I think we'll have to go to a beach somewhere to fish. All right, we need to get everybody showered. Casey, you failed. You failed at showering so hard. Why don't you just do some beach combing? Hello, Tempest Moons. How's it going? Great tongs, great tongs, as we say here in my hometown of Griftopia. It is impossible to keep everybody happy. Go use the bathroom. And you know what? I don't care if you're pregnant. I don't care if you're exhausted. You need to go fishing. Because that's your job. So do you, even though you're all tired and pregnant and filthy. Not my fault. Wait, you can shower in here, right? Yeah, okay, you're fine. We haven't even sold the harvest for today. Better come sell all that stuff. We gotta recoup some money from the party. Say boo on a mop, she says. Say boo. Hey, she's almost there. She's almost to uh, her comedy skill that she wanted. Tired, pregnant, and filthy. Now there's a combination. Yep, there's just a lot of that going around. You think given the heat, a nice chilled glass of wine is in order? Oh. I didn't know until like a couple years ago that you weren't supposed to chill red wine. So I just like chilled red wine. <laughs> because I always just put it in my fridge. And I didn't realize you weren't supposed to. But it tastes better than white wine, and I like it cold. Who decides these things anyway? I feel like I'll drink my wine however I want to. Dad, gum it. Dad, blast it. Who's this? To each their own. Exactly. I wish they would, like, come outside and wander around a bit more. Who's this? Oh, it's the male lady. Teulia Fabulous. They look... It just looks abandoned here, because they don't even have the chairs set out. This is a major failing of The Sims 4. The Sims 3 felt so much more alive. Everybody was just, like, walking around all the time, doing stuff. I mean, the locals do walk by a lot. But not the other people who live here. Like, you don't see them doing stuff outside of their house. Oh, Allison, you need to fix this thing. Dag nabbit. Oh, pff, what? What are you doing here? What is Allison doing? I said go repair the thing. Come on, Allison. What, what are you doing? Suave. Chatting with Casey. I like that Casey still has his tan. It's nice. Okay, she's just ignoring my instructions. She just does not want to fix the thing. Ishak has, learned, has researched tarot plant and updated the notebook. Okay. It's great for him, I guess. Are you still harvesting, or did you get tired, or what? What happened? Oh, okay. You already harvested everything. Okay, great. We've got, like, three, four hundred bucks right here in this garden every day. That's a nice income. Really not bad at all. 
Anybody who's, who's hungry should eat some potatoes. They're going to go bad. Hello, llama lawyer. How's it going? Great tongs to you. What are you guys doing? What are you holding? Kahlua pork made by Haley Hakekia. Eight hours until spoiled. Did you make Kahlua pork in our barbecue pit? And then you're just holding it? Why are you guys still here? The party's over and you have a baby at home. Who's taking care of your baby? Haley. Haley, put the food down. Do they... Are they just gonna live out there in front of our front door? Allison has identified the guppy, a new type of fish reported in certain fishing spots from Emma Lord. Okay, great. Great. Emma was like, I saw this fish you'd never believe. It's called a guppy. She'd be like, oh. Okay, thanks. Sorry to have missed you, but we'll be sure to bring by food if we have extra in the future. <gasps> oh, they were bringing me food, and we didn't answer the door. Oh, I thought they were still here from the party. They must have left and came back with food. Oh, and here I was being like, wow, it's like they're not, the world's not even alive. What is she doing? <laughs> Litter bug. Ra ra who? Why did you litter? Why are you dressed like that? That's not your normal clothes. Ra ra who? Come on. She had the baby. Was she horribly disturbed? Um, she seemed fine actually. I don't know. We moved them out. Their baby's name is Logan. He has super dark skin for some reason. It doesn't make sense. Guess he's just very tan. Congratulations on getting married to Casey. I hope you two are very happy together. Well, thanks. Now I feel bad that we weren't here, that we didn't go except their, their, oh, they left the food here. <laughs> they were like, I guess. So, okay, they came over to bring us food. We were obviously over here, like in full view of where they were standing. Most of the family was just over here doing stuff. And they were like, well, I guess they're not home. We'll just leave it on the sand in front of their door. So it, when they come back, they'll see it. And then they just left. All right. Well, thanks for the free food. I do like saying rah, rah, who. Now it's extra crunchy. Ugh. It's got some grit to it now. Woo! Woo. Uh, All right, sport. Allison, you're you got a lot of problems right now. Okay, why don't you use the bathroom, take a shower, and then do some repairing? Can you upgrade anything yet? Can you upgrade to sturdy faucets. I really want to upgrade self-cleaning toilets. We need four handiness skill. Okay, she's not there yet. Mmm, sandy food. <laughs> no tip for them, exactly. Worst Postmates ever. Oh my gosh, you guys. Last night, I was out doing Postmates, and I got one for Walmart, which I had never gotten before. And it was a really weird message. How come you're not showering? What are you doing? You're all, you're filthy. I'd never done a Walmart one before. It was a weird message. It was like, easy delivery. You don't even have to go in the store. We'll bring the we'll bring the items out to your car and all this. So I go to the pickup area and I'm like waiting forever. First of all, it took them like 10 or 15 minutes. And oh, and the thing said one grocery bag for this person. So I'm thinking, okay. This will be easy, totally worth it. It's kind of weird, but I'll just I'll get their one grocery bag and bring it to them. It'll be fine. It'll be just like a restaurant delivery. So anyway, I get there, I wait forever, and then she brings out this cart, like a 
like one of those dollies that like converts to a four wheeler dolly. She brings out this huge cart full of crates, full of food. And they're all in those little plastic Walmart bags, not even grocery bags. It's just, it's probably like a hundred little Walmart bags full of food. And just starts putting them all in my car. I'm like, it was supposed to be one grocery bag. And she was like, I don't know. This is what it is. Just, I mean, it wasn't her fault. So I go <laughs> all the way. Like this person just had like their grocery shopping for like a family for the week done through Postmates at Walmart. So I go. And it takes several trips. They did help me bring it in. Like, they they helped me get it out of my car and everything. But it took all of us making several trips. There was so much. Uh, and then I went on my merry way. The whole thing took about 45 minutes. It was like, it was crazy. Don't do your grocery shopping with Postmates. Do it. There's like, there's other apps that are just for grocery shopping. So like, those people will be expecting to have a car full of groceries and like Instacart and shipped. They actually go get the groceries for you from the store and we'll bring it to you. And they're like equipped to do that. Like they'll have things to carry the groceries with and stuff because it's what they do all the time. Postmates people are not ready for that kind of thing. Uh, I got a $5 tip, so that was good. And there's also like a $2 bonus that Walmart gives you. I think Walmart is partnered with Postmates or something. Why? You were supposed to fix the sink. Somehow you broke the other sink. Allison, come on. Why Why can't you focus on repairing right now? Just because you're pregnant. <laughs> Being eight months pregnant does not mean you can't fix the sink. Come on now. Oh, hello, Soxley. I don't know if I said hello. Great tongs, great tongs. I am thirsty. I haven't had a toilet for the last couple of days because we've been rebuilding the floor in the bathroom. So I've been like really limiting my water intake when I'm not going to be able to like use the bathroom. Uh, so I think I've just gotten dehydrated over the last few days. Now I gotta, now that I have a toilet again, I gotta start just like guzzling water like crazy. I gotta replenish my fluids. Doesn't the woman baby hybrid give her more power? Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> being pregnant is being a woman baby hybrid. Yes, I feel like it should give her youthful energy. She should have, you know, she's got the life energy of another human inside of her. I, that's how it works, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's how pregnancy works. Go take a quick and tepid shower. Everybody needs to go to bed. It's bedtime. Glad I have my bathroom back. Me too. I mean, it doesn't... It's not finished. I still need to do the tile. I need to paint the walls and everything and redo the trim. And I'll probably replace all the tile in the shower. There's like, there's a lot of stuff to do. And we got to put the vanity back in. I don't have a bathroom sink right now, but at least I can use the kitchen sink to brush my teeth and stuff. It's a mess. It's a mess, but it'll look really good when it's done. Okay, we've got to get everybody to sleep. You haven't managed to wash yourself, but she did fix the sinks. So, good job. What is your handiness skill now? Two. Still two? You are terrible at gathering skills. At learning skills. Skulls. Emma, you need a shower. Everybody needs to shower all the time. Casey is always pretty happy. <laughs> I feel like Casey's the happiest one. Hey, since you're swimming right next to this trash, why don't you... No. Why don't you clean up the trash? There you go, man. Here, just clean up all this trash. Since you're swimming around anyway, and then go to bed. 
Uh, if that's not how it works, then it's really just a parasite that requires you to get rid of it painfully because it gets too big. I think that's more, I think that's closer to the situation. I think. I don't think they give you a lot of life energy. I think they just steal your life energy in a very, like a little vampire. And then it doesn't stop for about 25 years. Up until 10, you didn't realize that men couldn't get pregnant, and when you heard your older sisters talking about someone in their class getting pregnant accidentally, you were terrified. <laughs> you should be. Thinking of Agra from the Ugly Sea, she was the best repair woman. She was. She was great. I've been thinking a lot lately about how great The Sims 3 was. Did you know The Sims 4 came out in 2014, right? This game is five years old now. It doesn't seem like it's that old. It's been forever. Wait, they need to come out with The Sims 5. Get to it and make it open world again. And put freaking swimming pools and pets and, and stuff in the game. And seasons. Put seasons in the base game for once. EA Games. Come on now. Okay, I already told him to go to sleep. Come on now. Come on now. Where are you? Where are you there, tan boy? He's trying so hard. He's trying so hard to be hot for Allison. He's working on that tan, working on those muscles. All right. That's all for today. We will be back tomorrow with some more Castaway Challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, don't leave. We got to see if Vithika... Vithika is streaming. Okay. We're going to raid... Vithika 13, she's playing The Sims 4, probably doing her apocalypse challenge. Let's go over there and tell her that her stream is slightly impressive. Slash raid Vithika 13. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>